Hello, and welcome to the Energy Connect Studio, Future Energy Asia 2023. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me, Dr. Min Kuo Lee, Head of Hydrogen Research and Wise Energy. He's come to talk to me about the hydrogen industry and why it's so important. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Shirley, and pleasure to be here. How has the hydrogen world developed over the last year? Yeah, I think a lot of the things has changed and I would say advanced and moved on in the last year. We still, you know, from our data from Bright Start Energy, we still see the same rate of project announcement. However, you know, there's a lot more policy that has been announced from the US, from the Europe, as well as, you know, Australia, so and so getting into the mix as well. Interesting. We're here in Bangkok, but how has Southeast Asia entered the global energy um, business elite movement? Yeah, I think, I think, you know, Southeast Asia is starting to, you know, coming into the play here with the global hydrogen movement, so to speak. Uh, we start to see some asset being announced from the like of Petronas, Petamina, mm. we'll see also in Thailand here with a project as well in Vietnam uh, as well. So there's a few projects that start to come through, but not at the scale that we see in other places. Interesting. And uh, how do you think hydrogen can help decarbonization, but also um, companies and countries to meet climate goals? Yeah, for sure. I think hydrogen has a very key role in terms of energy transition and decarbonization overall. Uh, there's a lot of sector that hydrogen can play a role from transportation to industry to even power generation. Of course, each of those categories have its nuances that you will have to explore, like our data show certainly for passenger vehicle EVs has a much stronger momentum at the moment. Uh, hydrogen fuel cell is slowly getting there, but hydrogen fuel cell would probably have uh, its role in heavy duty trucks, for example. Uh, for shipping industry, there's another place where we have a good database that show us there's a lot of vessel that has starting to be ordered using ammonia, methanol, as well as hydrogen. Uh, industry is where hydrogen currently being used now, and that's where I think will be the prime category to start decarbonize first using cleaner hydrogen, so to speak. Yeah. So, so lots going on. Um, who are some of the early adopters of clean hydrogen and also um, here in, in Southeast Asia? Yeah, that's, that's a very good question. So globally, we see some of the early adopters are definitely some of the oil and gas majors, mm -hmm. uh, quite closely related to their molecules, hydrocarbon based business, but also industrial players, uh, industrial and gas suppliers, the like of Linda, Air Liquid, uh, for example, also getting into the mix, but also some of the utilities and renewable developers starting to get there as well. But of course, they are focusing on green hydrogen which is more expensive. As for the region itself, we see the like of a lot of NOCs, you know, Petronas, PTTEP, um, Petamina, also starting to look into hydrogen to, to start to decarbonize their asset, as well as kind of move on into the future. And as the hydrogen economy grows, um, what are some of the challenges we see ahead um, for companies or countries adopting the hydrogen? Yeah. Very good question. I think um, pretty much now everyone is aware that cost is the number one challenge. Uh, things has to be starting to get cheaper so that we can start to adopt clean hydrogen. But outside of cost, there's also uh, questions and challenges on infrastructure to, to kind of move this ahead, as well as policy to support. Uh, and one key thing also is personnel, right? Uh, qualified personnel to, in order to support the energy transition. So that's one key important, the new workforce need to be trained and, uh, and that's created a lot of opportunities as well for regions such as Southeast Asia, always very eager to, to develop in these cases. Well, there's a, a lot going on and thanks for coming down to the Energy Connect studio to give you insights into the uh, hydrogen economy and where it's going and the opportunities here in Asia. Yeah, thank you very much for having me today and uh, having Rise Energy to, to present our view on the show. Thank you, Julian. Thanks a lot. Thanks everyone for watching and I look forward to bringing more studio interviews from the show floor in the coming days.